Hello ladies and gentlemen, I am Many Ninjas, and we're taking a temporary detour from everything else I have been doing up to this point in order to cover the new DLC for the Scott Pilgrim online game title. And in this case, uh, speaking of online, we have online multiplayer now, as well as the finally playable Wallace Wells. To make a long story short, this entire DLC package has kind of been on the wayside for various reasons, including the very last delay due to some uh, game assets from a Game Boy Advance title being in there that wasn't supposed to be in there. But now, let the paradox begin. Just to cover the obvious parts here, with uh, the Wallace Wells character, yes, much like Knives, Tro, it's actually a head swap of a previously existing model. In this case, Stephen Stills. Pretty much for the most part, uh, Wallace here is a poor man's version of Stephen Stills. He doesn't do as much damage, he takes damage a lot more uh, frequently, and anything that hits you will be hitting you a bit harder, at least uh, based off memory here. And uh, for the most part, I, I can't think of any real unique attack that is available for Wallace that isn't just a recolored version of what already exists for Steven. But of course, uh, that is, if that was really all that was going on here with this particular uh, update here, I probably could stop it right around now, but I'm actually going to leave this running because there's going to be some interesting findings here. Namely, there seems to be a number of interesting little bugs that have, or uh, changes in the title that have come up since this particular update has gone on. We'll start off with the first real instance of the oddities that I caught on film here, with uh, Boss 1 after the jump. Uh, one of the first bit of boss weirdness here is uh, what happens here with Matthew Patel. I knock him into the onto the left side of the screen and after this hit he just kind of gets stuck in a blocking state looking in the wrong direction. And uh, pretty much all my normal blows are being blocked so they're not really doing anything to get him out of that state. Aside from the occasional flinching back in the right direction he's just kind of stuck there until I uh, eventually try walking on the other side and that seems to reset him and get him back to moving again. Perhaps he's really wanting that match with Scott Pilgrim after all. I'm not sure, but uh, thankfully after finally get there, I just wander over, now he's back to his old self again. Uh, the next little curious bug shows up right here. What happens when you just do a general idle jump with Wallace? Whenever you're not attacking, yet whenever you're attacking, he's just fine, but as you just noticed there, if you're not attacking, he does a weird pause before he actually lands properly. Which, I'm not quite sure if why that might be happening, because unless I'm mistaken, that doesn't happen with any other character up to this point. For the most part, the fight goes back to being what you normally expect at this point, although, as will pop up in a second, there is one more case of boss stupidity as Matthew uh, will start, I believe in a moment or so, just jumping straight up and down, not doing anything until I approach him and get him back out of it. And for those that just happen to be wondering, here's what Ubisoft did in order to get past the whole uh, Sonic Battle issue with the hurricane off the screen that was directly using the GBA assets as far as everyone can tell, and they went with this as their alternative. The next difference, at least based off what I can recall from memory, is what happens at the beginning of the Lucas Lee fight. Normally I'm pretty sure these skateboarders actually join the fight a little later on, but now apparently they start off the fight with Lucas. Actually, there is one more cosmetic change other than the rainbow stuff. Uh, the uh, former headbutt from Steven has now been converted for Wallace's use as kind of a headbutt kiss sort of deal, complete with little animated hearts that appear over the opponent. The next difference is that uh, during the Todd Ingram battle, the nice ripoff move from Tetsuo and K49 no longer has its flying vegetables. I'm not sure if this is limited to only the normal mode, but yeah, basically you have nothing to dodge at this point as long as you make sure you dodge the normal move. Now, if that last bit didn't catch me off guard, this little bit did. Suddenly, Mr. Cho. As far as I've personally been aware of and off of the things I've been able to read up to this point, Mr. Cho is only supposed to show up after the uh, cameo on stage 4, which, as you can see, I had clearly not gotten up to that point, 
So I was really surprised that he decided to pop up at this point. And uh, within this pick later run, he at least appeared one more time for a rematch. But that was after already clearing that point, so it wasn't anything out of the ordinary. Just to warn you ahead of time, I'm actually just about to show Wallace's ending in the game, at least at this current state, so if you don't want to see it, stop now. In terms of surprises, this is the last real surprise that the game could throw my way, uh, being that Wallace's ending, once you get past the generic parts here, actually feels very incomplete. It seems, it feels like honestly that they forgot to do a little extra testing on this part, on top of a few other things, because, uh, well, you'll kind of see for yourself in about a second or two, really. And so, Wallace's ending actually has no words in it at all. Aside from some light confetti falling from the ceiling, there's nothing actually going on, and it will continue until it says the end and goes into the game's credits. I'm not sure if this is some kind of coding accident, or uh, just it being a rushed product at this point, but that's Wallace's story in a nutshell for you, ladies and gentlemen. I'm hoping that the multiplayer is a little more nice than this, and uh, as I've got nothing left to say about this at this point, uh, thanks for watching, ladies and gentlemen, and catch you next time.